Hello, my name is Rick France, and I am a solutions engineer here with Hagerman and Company. And we're going to take a look at the off-page connectors in PNID 2016. They have made a minor change to the way the off-page connectors work that affects, as far as the off-page connectors from pipeline to pipeline, procedurally how you connect them up. But more importantly, the effect of that on the signal line connectors requires some setup. Uh, due to this change and so I want to mainly focus on that but in order to do so I have to show you how the pipelines connect up as well so right here you can see in my drawing I have placed two lines uh, one's a regular pipeline through here and one's a signal line connector and I've got the pipeline connect the off-page connector right here coming from that one here on the end of my pipeline and of course the off-page connector for the signal line processors right here. Second drawing have the same thing connected up. Now one thing you will notice on the pipeline is back on the first drawing I have already assigned my line number. So it's a 10 inch carbon steel 150 service process water service I mean and a 1001 line number Back here on the second one, I haven't assigned anything yet. So the procedural change that's happened to off-page connectors is they have to work from, uh, you have to connect from a line that's already been defined. In other words, if I came over here on the first line and I tried to connect this one up using the off-page con connector connect, to the one on the second drawing, it does not see, it doesn't even show up in the list because the line number has not been defined in that one. So you always have to work from a line that's coming with a line number. So if I look at here on the second sheet, select this one, connect up to a connector on the first sheet, you can see it sees that connector and I can easily just connect it right up and it carried it over the information for that pipeline. Of course, I still have to go in here and do the view connected and connect the line segments to get that the rest of the line number over. But it was easy to connect it up. I just always have to remember to come from a predefined line uh, when I'm connecting these up. Because of that change, the lines, the signal line connectors have the same issue. They have to come from a predefined line because they are just a different type of off-page connector. So when I try to connect this one up, there is none listed on each on the other page, even though it is over there. And part of the reason for that is because in the past and in the current ones out of the box, you cannot assign a tag to a signal line. It's not required in the past, but for the change that's in these new off-page connectors, that has become a requirement. So what we need to do is a couple of things in our setup. So I'm going back here to the first page here, and I'm going to go to my project properties, and get to my PSS file. Under PNID settings, class definitions, here's my pipeline and signal line group. So one thing you'll notice here, on the pipeline group, there is a line number that's being defined and with the tag format. Here on the signal line group though, there is not a line number. So there's not a line number for me to assign to it in order to for it to see it to go from page to page. So that's the first of the three steps that we need to do is we need to add this line number. So I'm going to come over here to the add button while I'm on the signal line group. And under here, I'm just going to add line number. I like to put a space between on the display name. And it's just a string. If you look back on the pipeline group, line number is just a string. Hit OK, and that adds the line number in there. Now, my habit is to hit Apply after I've done a change like that so that it gets remembered because I'm going to now have to go over here to the engineering items. So like I said, there's three steps I have to take here. Under the lines here, you'll see there's pipeline segments and signal line segments. The tag format for the signal line segments is working off the comment. There was no line number before. If you look at the pipeline segments, it's including the line number and the service and everything else. All we really have to worry about is that line number, though. 
So I'm going to come back over here to signal line segments. And I like to do a brand new one. I could easily just go into this one and hit modify and change it up there. But it's always going to say comment. I want just don't want to have the word comment in mind. So I'm going to hit new. It makes a copy of it. That way I can remove the word comment out of here. To get my name signal lines tag only. So what we're going to do is set up to that line number that's in the pipeline group or the signal line group rather. So I'm going to select the button here for the class properties. The key here is not to use the target objects. So I'm going to unselect target object here. Come down to the signal line group and select the line number that I just created. By doing that, select OK, select OK. I've created a new one. To get rid of that comment one, I'm going to change my tag format name down here to the one I just created, signal lines tag. Go ahead and apply that. And after doing that, I can come over here to signal lines tag comment and just delete that one because it's no longer necessary. I've replaced it with this new one. Like I said, I could have just changed that one to have the right class property. It just would have kept the word comment in there, and that's just a personal preference of mine. I don't want to see that in there. So that set it up to where I have a tag format. Now I have to be able to tag those lines because even at this point, if I went to try to tag one of those lines, a sign tag is going to be grayed out because I have to go to each individual line. For Since my drawing was used in a Maddox signal line, that's the one I'll go to first here and do an edit line. So selecting the pneumatic signal line, edit line here. And I'm going to set the tagging prompt right here, where it says not a tag component. I'm going to change that to prompt for a tag. If I do not do this, there's not any method I can use to tag that line. So I'm tagging it, prompt for tag. Now unfortunately, while I could go to seg the signal line segments here and change the tag, I cannot just change the line here for everything underneath it. Each one is defined individually. So I'm going to have to go to each one of these lines that I want to be able to uh, tag to be able to use that signal line connector on and make the exact same change. So there's a little bit of uh, work that will take you less than five minutes to do here to just go through each one edit the line, prompt for tag, and move on. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do all of them here, but make sure you have at least got this pneumatic one done because that's the one I actually have in my drawing. Once I've done that, I can select OK, and I've done the three steps. Again, the three steps were I added the line number to the signal line group. I went to the segment, the signal line segment, and I add, changed the tag format to reference that line number. And then I went to the line itself and changed it to prompt for a tag upon insert. Now you can see here, when I right click on my tag here in my first drawing, I have an assigned tag is now available for my schematic line. I'm just going to, or pneumatic line in this case. I'm just going to call it P1. Really doesn't matter what I assign to it. Just so I assign something, I could put a tag on here. Not necessary because I don't usually use that on on my schematic lines. Um, so the main point is getting it assigned to that line number. Once that is assigned, and I'm just going to hit save on this drawing. Go over here to my second drawing because remember I have to come from a, a line that has been assigned. So I'm going to go to my off page connector and connect. And now on that line I can see the schematic line for P1 that I just tagged. Hit OK. And now it's all synced up. And again that line number will carry over. Just like anything else I'm just going to say assign tag here and you can see the P1 is already on it. So that just shows you how I can then set up those schematic lines to uh, receive the same signal line process off-page connector.